District Congressman Dan Newhouse has been working in the other Washington for almost a year exactly. He's a generational farmer and a politician who can easily shed his well-tailored suits and ties for Romeos and Carhartts on the weekends. In this week's Dialed In segment, we get to know him a little bit better. Well, Congressman Newhouse, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with us today. Well, thank you, Tracy. Appreciate that. Well, how you doing? Doing very well. It's great to be home. It really is. First of all, let's just get to know you a little bit better. Okay. So you are from Sunnyside, born and raised. Born in the Sunnyside Hospital. Uh, yes, so truly am from Sunnyside and lived there my whole life, except for, you know, college, went away to WSU, go Cougars. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I lived in Pullman for a few years, and then uh, my first job out of college, lived in Illinois for two years before I decided oh. to come back to the farm. So, But yeah, for the most part, I've uh, been in Sunnyside my whole life. Okay. So you were from Sunnyside in a whole family of cougars, am I right? <laughs> Yeah, um, as a matter of fact, my, my parents both attended Washington State College at the time. Oh, wow. And then I, I'm one of six uh, kids, and at one time all of us uh, attended uh, WSU. So, yeah, um, I guess you can say we bleed crimson. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, cougars are, go way back in our family. All right. And still to this day, you still do some farming or your family? out in the Sunnyside area? Yes, that's right. I like to think that I'm an active farmer, although being in Congress uh, is a full-time job. And so um, I'm finding out just how, um, I guess, uh, important I was to the operation, because things are going on great without me there. Well, with that being said, what is the life of a congressman like? Being a congressman is just an exciting experience. It really is. So you're uh, in our nation's capital. There are so many things going on. Um, there, there's so many different decisions that, uh, that a congressman has to be familiar or responsible for. And so I'm constantly learning about new subjects, uh, m learning more about subjects I thought I knew something about, uh, making sure I'm up to speed on important topics that are uh, critical decisions that have to be made on behalf of the people in this country. And on a day-to-day -day basis, you can't believe how many things that my staff and uh, the, the, the schedulers put into a day. It starts early uh, and goes late every single day. What are your top priorities as congressman right now? Uh, well, there's several things. Uh, um, we have a lot of issues in central Washington. Many good, positive things that we want to continue. You know, we have a very strong agricultural industry, and so being a farmer myself, I, I want to make sure that that continues into the future, and so uh, that touches a lot of different things, like uh, we've seen the last few years a drought uh, taking place in this part of the, of the country as well, well as our state, and so addressing uh, water issues is particularly important to me. Uh, not just for agriculture, but for a lot of other reasons. Uh, just in our backyard, we have the uh, largest Superfund cleanup site in the country. <laughs> it ha happens to be the, the Hanford Nuclear res Reservation. And so it's a huge priority of mine to make sure that the federal government maintains its obligation, uh, moral obligation, to make sure that Hanford is cleaned up as, as timely and as efficiently as possible. Well, thanks for batting for us. Mm -hmm, absolutely. What or how do you spend your free time? Uh -huh. I know free time is relative. <laughs> it is very relative. Recently, I haven't seemed to have had a lot of that. Uh, uh, well, let's see. The uh, as I said, I try to spend a little time on the farm, and this may sound strange, but uh, it's it's very enjoyable to me to yeah. be able to come back and and um, work side by side with my son on the farm, and, and it's very. I guess therapeutic in some ways. Uh, get a little dirt under my fingernails, raise the sweat, and, uh, and, and sleep well at night when after you've done a hard day's work. I, I like to read, and I like to read about history. Uh, and my, one of my goals is to read something about every American president. And so oh, that's a neat goal. I've been working on, on that. Uh, but anything historical, um, uh, I find very, very interesting. I'm a true fan of the Civil War period, so I enjoy reading about that. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us today, Congressman, and we wish you the best oh, well, in your you busy endeavors. Yes, it's a lot of fun, let me tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Glenn, he told me that he's about halfway through the list of presidents in those books. Yeah, that's a lot of reading. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well,